Hi everyone, it's Crappy Kathy here with my Dottie About Flair uh, design team post. And today is supposed to be a quote unquote normal, regular design team post. But you may recall that when everybody else on the design team was um, posting the new design team photo, um, I didn't quite make it because I was out of the country and I had planned to do it from out of the country, but things didn't work out so that I could do that. And I'm just now um, able to get around to it. So I have chosen, I, I'm gonna do this also uh, according to the prompts in the um, Mind the Scrap Summer Challenge. So why not? Uh, and that requires using a sketch. And I love this sketch. I think I've done this sketch before. Um, this is by the lovely Lisa Sikorsky of Sikorsky Scraps. And it's in uh, Scrap a Sketch. I think it was um, when she was doing the seasons um, challenges. And I think this was winter, maybe? Uh, sketch challenge 11, and it was uh, winter. So I'm gonna do it in a springtime <laughs> color scheme. Go figure. Um, so I'm gonna get started. I'm not gonna have four uh, evenly sized photos. I'm gonna have three different sizes. And I'm gonna try to end up um, a Bramble Fox title. That's gonna be my fourth element. And one of the photos may end up having to go someplace else. Anyway, let's get started. I have pulled together some things out of my Scrap Backwards kit that, uh, including this gorgeous paper, that I know I, that would work. <laughs> Let me put it that way. I, not, and this is not to say that I will end up using it all, but I've got it here and we'll see where it fits. Um, let's see. Let me pull all these things off. And what I have done in the way of pre-work is I've cut uh, one and a half inch strips and then uh, out of a 12 by 12 piece of paper, and I've cut them down to 10 inches, and then I overlapped to make this square. And I put, I stapled the corners together just for a little bit of interest. Um, I don't, uh, it doesn't bother me if you can see the juncture that the way that I designed it, that shouldn't matter. Um, so I'm gonna pull the foam tape off the back and get it laid down. I have, um, like everyone else's post, I have the design team, the whole team photo, and then I have an individual photo of myself, and there were size guidelines given to us for those. And then I have the Dottie About Flare logo bit. I'm gonna do this and kinda just eyeballing it, it looks like it's fairly okay. And I've attached little frames to the smaller photos to kind of somewhat pump them up in size. And I've got this one, which I of course wanted to be the prominent one. So I could do this. And because the frames are off at, um, you know, these are kind of at, these two are, are squared and then these two are at angles, that's what these um, frames are doing for me, kind of giving it that look. So I'm gonna keep the photos straight. Now, if I do that, I don't have room for my keep calm and get crafty. So what I was thinking, I could put this one up here and then do a 
this like that way, maybe overlap that and put that there. Eh, I do not want to put this here because you can't read the words. I could maybe put it there and run everything down along this bottom. Don't like that. So, how about I do this right there. And this up here. I want to be sure that I have um, I'd like for this frame to come out over the black. So I guess I could do it there. And maybe that I will put at an angle. I'll worry about that later. But let's see, if I do that, I can do this, and then I can move that up a bit. And then we can embellish from there. Um, I think I like that the best. So what I've done is I've just um, matted these uh, bits. I matted this in black cardstock before putting it on the reverse paper of that beautiful floral. And I guess this is my, I guess is, I need to make my decision now. I'm going to come down this way so that that does go a little bit over the black, but it doesn't exactly meet up with that corner. And then that tells me how low I can or cannot do this. And while I have those things in place, I'm going to kind of do this. there and then I'll pull the tape off this just kind of want to be sure that it's in the right place that I've left myself enough room and I'm going to glue this down I have already punched through this glue twice this morning um, And it was working fine <laughs> and it dries up quickly and for those of you who are saying we ought to put it upside down when I put it upside down it kind of leaks out into the lid and it ends up like that which is kind of a, a mess and I don't like that it kind of keeps the nozzle clear too if I don't have it upside down. So I'm going to kind of do this. Uh, well, I know the glue dries clear, but I hate when there's Glops of it showing, especially on black cardstock. So I'm going to take the time to remove it and get it all over my tweezers and then spend half an hour cleaning my tweezers. Okay, that's just actually, nope, that's glue. I'm sorry. Um, what I should do is kind of rub on the back with my finger so that it um, it makes it tacky but not gluey. Because you want it tacky but not gluey. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try to center that somewhat there again okay there now I'm gonna go 
use some of these embellishments and I have some flare, which are the important embellishments here. Uh, let me see if I can do this. This I attached this because I wanted to be sure that I got it in the right place, and I did it while I was kind of holding it up close. Uh, and it says a new beginning, and of course that refers to the fact that there there's a new beginning, and that this is a new design team for the 2022. Um, term, but also on this Friday, the 12th, we have all kinds of new uh, information coming, and um, but just lots of new, 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 new stuff. So that's going to be exciting. I'm going to put this one here because it's by this blue flower, and it's a pretty blue butterfly. And in honor of the big changes that are afoot, I'm using butterflies as a kind of a, a symbol of that. And I'm going to put this over that, which might be easier than putting this under this. So I kind of want to see where it needs to go. So butterflies to me are a symbol of transformation. And um, Adam is, has some news. And he and Lisa are going to go live on Friday. And there will be, um, I think it'll be great news for everybody that um, some processes and all kinds of other things are being transformed within the company. So it should uh, make for a, a better, uh, better experience. And these things are necessary as a business grows. Okay, I'm going to use that. I'm gonna put that there with some foam. What I've got are a million embellishments from different collections that are all part of the um, Mind the Scrap kits that I have received in the past years. And I just got my um, suitcase in. Um, from my trip to England. It has, it is actually in my house. Uh, I haven't had a chance to open it yet. I had a, a probate administrator's oath to take and they are doing that by Zoom. So I did not have to make the horrible drive into Atlanta to the courthouse. So I'm just gonna kinda Put those down there, and I have, I want to use this ampersand kind of overlapping the group photo, because to me, ampersands imply togetherness or groups or whatever. I use them a lot in the photos of John and me in the past. So I'm gonna try to squish that down. Let me put it under there. I'm Instead of happy thoughts, I'm just gonna say happy and kind of tilt it over to the side there. I'll Push it down and then kind of curl it up to give it some dimension. Um, I have this little thing that says who, and that's appropriate to put right here by the group 
photo because that's who. This came in a set that said who, what, and where, and I've already used the where, so now I'm using the who. And you have, as you can see, there are some um, old members returning. Not that we're old, <laughs> but former members returning. Uh, this says can't wait, and that might be appropriate right there. So I'm going to do this. Just I just picked out uh, a few phrase stickers and, and ephemera bits that express excitement and anticipation and enthusiasm for um, all that Dottie is to us. And then loving every moment I thought would be a good one to go by my photo because indeed I have loved every moment of my association with Dottie and that continues. Okay, let me see. And these are all different fonts and colors and from different collections, they're kind of e different styles and all those things. I have this little bit that has a, a bird in a tree. And I see images like this and I think of birds singing the new message. And since this is kind of an announcement, I'm gonna cut that leaf off there so that it'll go better here because I don't want this leaf to cover a face. Can't cover any faces. Let me... Get here, this is, um, I just absolutely love that floral so much. I'm gonna cut the whole, that whole leaf cluster off. And I'll cut this down to that and then cut around the bird and kind of do it this way. There we go. And that kind of gives us a little bit of a cluster there. And I've got an, a leaf that I can add to the cluster. In a place that I want it to be, not where it originally was. So I don't waste any leaves. I just place them in another place. And I can't say how much I love those um, butterfly flares. I picked them, I either picked them up at the DAF crop or Adam sent them in the um, giant um, bulk shipment of flare that he sent me in my other boxes. Okay, so I've got this little guy that I thought, it's a different style of flower, but I like it well enough to risk that. I like the, the little uh, peach colored envelope. I'm gonna put some stuff here. Put some foam there. And I also have a couple 
I thought I had a couple little round discs. There's the other one. Little uh, postmark kinds of things. And so I'm gonna kind of gather those around under here. Put that one there. And then I'll slide this one under the who. And under the white. And have a little spot right there that kind of seems to want i tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to pull these out. And I'm going to see if I'm going to cut this in half. This is a, um, there was a, a strip of paper that had phrases and some little icons on it. I think it's from Coco Vanilla. And... I cut this, I fussy cut this out of one of the little card thingies. Okay, there. And now I'm gonna put this in maybe right there. And that right there. And then I can put a, let's see, I've got some cocoa vanilla stuff here, including some fussy cut moths. And I'm gonna go ahead and pick this one and put some foam on it and let it kind of fill in that little corner. There we go, and I, it looks like I could use an extra flower or something up in here. So I'm gonna go with this fussy cut floral. Right there, and I'm just gonna Get a little bit of glue on there. And I also had in mind using this maybe here. Um, so I'm gonna look for a, another small flower. Let's see. Don't see anything. Here's a little gold heart. And that could go right there just to kind of bridge that gap that has arisen there. There we go. And then if I find another paper heart like that in my ephemera. This is a butterfly with a cut leaf. So I could maybe That's going the wrong way. <laughs> I don't, don't, don't like things going that way. But here's one that could go any which way. And it could go there or even here. I think I'll do that. I like this that says captured.
and I'm going to put it here. There we go. Straighten that out a bit. Oh, here's some more hearts. There is another heart, and I can put that. Oh, good. I was hoping it would be a green one. Uh, here's a darker green. And what I'll do is kind of place it underneath this on the same level as the flower. There we go. Okay. And now that I've gotten this out, where do I want to put it? I do need to glue this on. It's the cutest little thing. It's from a, a little set that I picked up at the uh, um, Bramble Fox booth at the Dottie About Flare um, retreat or crop. Okay, I'm... Um, we got another flower that I thought I might want to slide in right there just for the hell of it the heck of it in case Johnny's watching That's Johnny's favorite color, blue. And Johnny is the adorable son of the lovely Lisa, who is pictured right there. And I've got the other half of that flower, so I've got to put it someplace. Um, where would it want to go? I'm going to put it over here by this. pink one. Okay. And then if I could do something right here, by that. There. I think we're rounding the home stretch here. I wanted to do this in my typical, I have done um, design team posts in the past, and what I get all self-conscious when I do design team posts, and I try to do a style that I think design team people ought to have, or should have, or do have, or um, something that may be just slightly different from my normal um, style. And so I decided to do this one in my more is more style, partly because I have so much to work with in my um, kit and partly because it just kind of tells you who I am. I'm gonna use this um, kind of back here layered behind that and at something of an angle. So I'm, I'm kind of, I'm kind of scrapping this as Kathy today. And it, what this means is I'll never be finished with it. <laughs> Uh, there's always something more I would want to put on. So I'm going to do this and have this butterfly kind of, and then by, at the end of it, you won't recognize Lisa's sketch. Um, there is, uh, let's see, I have a requirement for jewels. I, the bunting, I'm thinking, gets um, satisfied by this banner. Um, I've got 
jewels that are going to, um, I chose kind of a green color because green is what I'm bringing out of this pattern paper. I'm just going to do three of the jewels kind of down here. And maybe after filming, I will, I lost one, or it, it came off my tweezers. I may add more, or, or I, I think I'll just leave those and I'll put these jewels away so that I'm not tempted to go back and do that. And I wanted to add a couple of the coppery, sequins in this strawberry field mix. And because I went to strawberry field with Adam and Lisa and Helen, you know, <laughs> why not have a little of it on the, uh, why not name drop a bit and brag and, and use and I'm, so I'm going to do a few of these strawberry field sequins up in here. So I have actually met some of the design team. I wish I had met all of you and I hope to before all is said and done. Um, but at the moment, now there's some of these sequins that are actually shaped like moons, half moons, but I'm not going to do those. I'm going to use a white and a coppery and then a kind of a pinkish coppery. So I'm just going to go minimalist on uh, shiny stuff. And then I think I saw something. I have this out for some reason. Um, uh, did it, did, 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 um, highlights. Hey guys, fun, fat, fabulous. I know it's just, it's kind of a generic word, but you can't get around the fact that these, this team is fabulous. And I so look forward to working with them. Okay, so I think I'm done. I've, um, this is in reference <laughs> to the fact that I get all uptight about design team pages. So I just need to keep calm and get crafty. And thank you for watching and watch for all the new exciting stuff at Dottie about Flair and um, follow all of these lovely ladies. I'm going to have in my posts um, all of the links to their uh, Instagrams. Um, and we don't always make videos for our design posts. I am making videos lately pretty much every day, and this will be my second one today, maybe third, and or one of three. And uh, so I'm kind of um, an exception. I, 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 I scrap better. Um, sometimes I, I don't have any choice because I have to do it in bits and pieces and over the course of a day or a week, but, um, I, I scrap better when I'm with you guys. So thank you. I appreciate it. And I, uh, I hope you like the page. Bye.